Hi, my name is Eric Worrell, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to decide in the right cabinet trash can system for your home. Uh, what we're looking at on the screen is one style that attaches directly to the door, uh, and then there's another style that's very popular that looks something like this, and you actually screw this style onto the base of your cabinet. Uh, in the upcoming video here, I'm going to show you exactly how to take measurements and how to do the installation. Uh, quick teaser, I did end up going with this type of cabinet pullout. Uh, because it's a little bit cheaper in price, but I also didn't want to drill directly into the cabinet doors. That kind of made me nervous. I don't mind drilling into the cabinet base though. So let's get over to the actual measuring and installation process. Hey, so the first thing you're going to want to do if you're installing a cabinet trash can of pull-out variety is you're going to want to make sure you have a beer on hand to drink. Uh, I'm drinking a Hamburg Brewing Company lager today. Ah, delicious. They uh, do not sponsor this video, but hopefully I get enough views. I'm going to reach out to them and tell them to send me some free beer. So the second thing you want to do is you're going to want to take some measurements of your cabinet. So I'm going to use this tiny little tape measure because I'm going to probably send this video to my dad afterwards. And I know he hates this tape measure, so I'm just kind of trolling him doing that. But what you're going to want to do is measure from the frame to the frame. So I've got just under 13 inches. So then you also want your height and I've got about 22 inches there. And then the depth, how far back can you go until you hit something on the back end? And I've got about 21 and a half inches there. So once you know uh, your height, width, and depth, then you can figure out what is the right size can for your situation that you can get, what's the biggest can that you can get, and uh, you know whatever you prefer in that way. So now that we have those measurements, you're going to want to decide what type of cans you want. So as you can see here, I have two different varieties of pull-out trash cans. They both kind of do the same functionality, and these aren't fully set up yet, but they're going to install on the base, and then they pull out, and this one's actually a little more set up. You can see it's got a handle, and you'll be able to pull it out. So you'll want to make a determination of what works for you. So I've decided to go ahead with the 35 quart garbage can because that's a little bit bigger uh, than these ones over here that I believe are 25 liter and you can double up. It's kind of just a preference thing, but you really want to measure out your cabinet to figure out what is the biggest size that you can fit for your situation. So the first thing you want to do is take the base of your shelf and place it on the base of your cabinet just like so. And you want to make sure that you have it set up so that it is able to pull out towards you and the door can close. Now that you have it in the right position, I've kind of positioned mine slightly to the right just to keep it away from the hinges. You can see that I have four screws here and I'm going to screw down the base to the cabinet now. So at this point, the shelf is already secured to the cabinet. And as I'm pulling it out, you can see a basket that comes with the model that I have. I'll put links in the description of both models that I showed on the screen earlier. Uh, just trying to show you what this looks like. I've actually got it reversed, but this is where you can kind of put trash bags behind your trash can. And for this particular model, the screws are actually already in the uh, shelf itself. So I am just unscrewing those screws out and then I will place the shelf down and re-screw those screws in to secure that basket basket in the back of my pullout shelf. Here you can see what the support system looks like that houses the trash can. I'm showing you this first because I did a poor job of zooming in earlier uh, when I was installing these. But if we zoom in now, you can see the four slots where your metal support system is going to slide in. So now we're going to skip ahead uh, or actually go backwards and I'll show you uh, installing these. Uh, don't be afraid to be a little bit forceful with these. But the thing I realized with this particular model is do not slide both of the metal uh, rods in at the same time. Do one at a time and don't worry about being a little forceful. It will slide in and click eventually. And now we are ready to install the front handle. Uh, you can see this is the easiest part of the installation. You're just gonna push down with a little bit of force until it clicks into place. And then what it's gonna do is allow it to swivel on here. And then this is gonna be your handle when you're pulling the trash can in and out. So I'm putting the trash can itself down into position. And then just like that, we now have a pullout trash can for your kitchen cabinet. So as you can see, very easy to set up. And now I have a pullout trash can that I can use that comes right out of my cabinet. So uh, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. In the description of this video, I will have this particular trash can and the other one that I featured earlier. So you can use my Amazon affiliate link. I always appreciate it if you do that. 
Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you enjoy yours much sooner than I did mine because I delayed doing this for a while. And now I'm realizing it's super easy to do. All right, take care.